we're uh, on our way. You comfortable down there? Yeah, I know it's not the most um, advantageous position, but it is a great way to travel. These sand skidders get us going along at quite the clip. Fortunately, I know the way like the back of my hand. The others will likely get there first. Mine is one of the slower skidders. Well, I used to have a fast one, but I lost it in a bit. Hmm. Now listen, when we get there, do you remember how to get back to... Well, the person who chained you. Yeah? Great. We'll likely meet pretty much no resistance for the first couple floors. There's never anything valuable at the bottom of the Shrive Wall. But... Once we get out of the bottom floors and get towards the middle... There will be guards. Not paid for by any organization, but personal guards. People there to protect treasure or individuals. The others will likely take care of them, and we won't have to deal with it, since we're not going for gold. We're here for revenge. <laughs> I need you to know I don't believe that this is going to bring you peace revenge is ugly it's a horrible business but it's one that I understand and I can get behind. And while I don't necessarily think this will bring you peace, I do think that at the very least, it'll make you feel a little better. Yeah, I've had my revenge didn't really make me feel any better. I had to forgive myself for letting myself get caught. <sighs> and I had to forgive my abuser. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's not what forgiveness means. Forgiveness doesn't mean you talk to them again. Forgiveness doesn't mean that you're okay with what they did to you. Forgiveness doesn't mean any of that. Forgiveness is letting go of it. It's an incredibly difficult and sometimes painful process, but a necessary one. For you. For your healing. Remove any sort of hate, built up wrath, and realize that it's not hurting them for you to be mad. It's hurting you. So you let go of the hate. And believe me, I had a lot of it. As a matter of fact, when I faced off against the one who put a collar around my neck and enslaved me, I had forgiven him already. I told him I bore no hate. But I would not let him continue to do what he had done to me. 
to anyone else. And I broke his neck. And it did feel good. But it didn't feel good because I killed a man who had enslaved me. It felt good because I knew that I had prevented anyone else from suffering at his hands. Yes, I suppose that that's true. Forgiveness does sort of imply that you should talk to them again, but I honestly don't recommend it. You forgiving another person should be a private affair, in my opinion. Other people, they complicate it. All you're really doing when you forgive someone, at least my way, is letting yourself stop carrying the burden around. If they go their whole lives suffering because of what they did to you, good. They deserve it. But if you go your whole life suffering because of what they did to you, you don't deserve that. And if there's anything that you can do to sort of keep that from happening, I think it's worth doing. sure how long it will take but we should be there soon and when we get there you stick by me all right i'll lead you up we'll get to the mid levels and then it's up to you to find your way back and you can say whatever you'd like to say i'll take care of the guards here Take my knife. You'll need it for when you confront that monster. Alright. Oh, hey, we're coming up on the wall. You can sort of see it in the distance. We'll be there soon. with you till the end.